Hey guys, this is Red Tech and part two of our camera prep crash course. I'm Nate Hart and in this episode, I wanna cover the general layout of the UI, where to find common settings and just a few general pointers. Let's get it going. The indication that power is being supplied to the camera will be a green light at the connector. On the Epic bodies, this was indicated by a red light at the button. Simply press the button once, there's no need to hold it, and the camera will begin its boot process. When the light is green, the camera is fully initialized. Let's start with the Red Pro 7-inch LCD. The top row of the LCD is home to all the things that you're likely gonna need to access on the fly. That's your frame rate, ISO, uh, aperture if you're using compatible lenses, your shutter speed, your color temperature, your resolution, and your red code compression. All right, so touch whatever item you want to adjust and a slider will drop down. Slide to the desired value and then close in the upper right corner or touch just below the slider. To enter the advanced menu, all you need to do is press and hold on the item. This will offer additional settings for that specific selection. You'll notice that certain items went yellow. This is letting me know that we are off speed from the project time base and the camera has adjusted the compression on its own to manage the amount of data being pushed to the card. When you set your frame rate back, the camera will automatically return all the values to their original setting. On the bottom, you'll find playback in the bottom left. You'll find exposure and status indicators here in the middle, and then your audio VU meter over on the right. Just to throw out a few key points, the two temperatures down here below, right here, this is the sensor temperature and the core temperature. The green T and E just below that lets you know if the camera's black shading is within its calibrated temperature and exposure time. If the temperature or exposure change significantly, they will go plus or minus yellow or red. During long takes, the T will naturally go yellow, but the camera will do its job to pull it down once you cut. It's generally not that big of a deal. This right here is your media percentage and your indication that you are recording raw R3D files or proxy ProRes DNX files directly to the red Mac. Pressing the media percentage will pull up a menu and allow you to format or eject your Mac. Now, I generally suggest that formatting is done in the menus, whereas ejecting the mag is done on the side of the camera by pressing the two user keys simultaneously. Pressing both of them keeps your fingers as far away from the format menu as possible. Even though cameras ask you multiple times if you wanna format, I've seen accidents happen. Touching the VU meter will pull up your audio menu. The camera has two built-in mics on the front of the camera. Now this is great for scratch audio, helping align clips, but this does mean that conversations could potentially be heard near the camera and potentially broadcast via the audio embedded in the SDI to Video Village. To change this, turn cam internal to none. Now, let's do something important. <laughs> let's make the shutter displayed as something a little bit more familiar. Let's hit the menu, go to settings, display, and modes. Here, I want to change it from time absolute over to angle relative. This will now display the shutter in degrees and maintain a 180 degree shutter relative to any frame rate you decide to run the camera at. Okay, since we're here, we can also decide if you want to see battery percentage versus total time, or maybe media percentage versus time remaining on the card. The menu path is always displayed in the upper left hand corner, and on the right, there's a help button uh, that offers some useful information related to the specific page that you're on. Let's take a quick break to digest all of this, and then we'll get into the next segment. We'll chat about remote trigger, guides, black shading, fans, all that sort of stuff. All right, coffee break. <laughs> 